Salutations, my friends. Today we are doing another painting from our iconic female series. Today we are going to be painting the one and only Miss Frida Carlo. She is my favorite artist by a million. I really uh, have looked up to her throughout my art journey. Okay, Miss Frida was born July 6th of 1907 in Mexico. She was a Mexican artist who was famous for her self-portrait work, many other things in her life that uh, brought her fame. She was a very controversial type of person and really went through a million uh, trials and tribulations throughout her life. She lived a rather short life, um, dying at just age 47 on July 13th, 1954. Um, but even with her short time on this earth, she left a huge thumbprint of her work and just her zest for life, I guess you could say. A lot of people argue about the style of art that she actually did. A lot of people say it was kind of Mexican folk art. A lot of people argue that it was surrealism. Um, I like to think that she paved her own path and kind of broke down the walls of having to be stuck in that box of you are this type of artist. You are, you know, you can only do realism. She really broke down those walls of having to be stuck in um, a category or a box of what, you know, a specific genre you're supposed to do. I really think she was pretty consistent throughout her career uh, painting in the same sort of style. I will say that. Um, and it's not so much her art I mean, I love her art. Her art is really um, magical in a way. It doesn't necessarily, you wouldn't look at it and go, she's the best painter in the world, you know? You wouldn't say that. There's something about her art, there's so much soul in her art that it jumps out at you. And there's something almost eerie when you look at one of her paintings of herself where it's almost like she knew herself so deeply and that just came out or you know what I mean she did so much like soul searching it seemed like that it would just jump out you through her eyes in her painting I mean that that to me is so much more important than being the world's best painter is being able it being able to have or capture something in your art that brings attention and awareness to it I mean you could be the most talented person in the world but that doesn't matter unless there is something behind the art, a meaning behind the art. Um, and this is something I'm very passionate about, uh, that has almost brought almost a different direction before to my own channel that I've been thinking a lot about is like the passion and the soul of the painting matters so much more than me giving you a lesson. It's something that will inspire people will captivate, you know, the masses. I think it's so important um, for me to show people that, and this is what Frida was so great at, is celebrate your individual identities. Celebrate what people may look at and say um, is not beautiful. Like, let's say you look at me and I have a crooked nose or you look at Frida and she has a unibrow. Well, take what you, you know, not, and this isn't just about looks, this is about anything. This is about just anything. Take your handicaps in life, I don't mean to say that, but take what people look at and view at as being a setback and turn that into empowerment. And I'm not gonna do like the facts about Frida, I mean, there's an entire movie about her. You can just do a quick Google search. You'll find out millions of things about her. Um, but she just stands as an iconic female that everybody can learn from. Celebrate your setbacks. 
I mean, and, and you can overcome anything. She was so great at taking what wasn't perfect and turning it into something meaningful. Or, um, you know, I, I don't really know how to explain this, really, without saying whatever sets you back, you can get over that obstacle and turn it into something magical. All right, somebody commented on, and so many people do this, they'll comment and say, um, I'm not good at art, I'm not a good painter, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And you can. You can do it. You can paint. Anybody can paint. Anybody can make art. It's your belief system that sets you back. It's always saying, you know, telling yourself something negative and this is why you can't do it because of that reason. This is what Frida just said, that's not me. You know, maybe I am not everybody's picture of beauty. Maybe I am a very hairy woman, <laughs> but I'm still beautiful. Maybe I, you know, am cross-eyed, but I'm still beautiful. And, and not just that, she got into a really bad accident and she had to wear like a full body cast. And during that time, um, she still did what she loved. She still painted. She used that time to her advantage. And instead of laying in bed and crying, and I'm sure, you know, she did, if you watch the, her movie, you know, she did, obviously, it was very emotional, but she used that time wisely, and she didn't say, oh, just because I'm in this world, body cats can't do anything. She painted and painted and painted, and some of her greatest works of arts came out of that time. So when people say you know i can't do this because you know what was i saying that somebody wrote that their hand was shaky and you know who you are just because your hand shakes doesn't mean that you can't paint or you can't draw sometimes your greatest obstacles will make that piece of art so much more special and people will appreciate it so much more um I told the person that my father has a shaky hand and he sketches every single day even though his hand can't hardly stay still. Um, but to me those are so much more interesting than somebody who could draw a straight line. Do you know what I mean? So this is why Frida was such an important person in my life because I, you know, there are insecurities that everybody has and I would like to be in a way, you know, if I could emulate her in any way, that would be what I would take from her career is to show people no matter what your setbacks are, no matter what your obstacles are, you can accomplish anything and to change your belief systems. You know, I want to show people that it doesn't matter what your drawbacks are, you can do anything and just believe in yourself. So with that passionate statement out of the way, we can get into our painting and focus on um, Miss Frida. I will not be doing a tutorial. This is just going to be a time-lapse painting. Um, I will be doing more art lessons in the future. So, but just, you know, bear with me on those. I'm gonna start doing um, probably two videos a week instead of just the one. It's just getting comfortable with that whole idea and finding the time, um, but I will. So, and those won't be full um, tutorials. I'm just gonna have like short little um, tutorials like how to paint clouds or a flower or just kind of mundane stuff, but those are the lessons that I feel that are more important to have the foundation of the art rather than an, uh, a full tutorial on how to do a painting. Because I think that way I can leave it up to people's own creativity to create masterpieces and that's what I would rather do in the world is have people use their own creativity and not just copy something that I've done. So um, and I think Frida would appreciate that and want to do that as well. So yeah, with that being said, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Love Pray Paint, on my Facebook at Love Pray Paint. Um, and also on my Twitter at Love Pray Paint. Please, if you, you know, 
want to share your art channel or you want to share your art, it doesn't have to be something that you followed from one of my tutorials, feel free to share. It doesn't even have to be art related. You want to share something on my page or share something with me that you have overcome and um, gotten past. I would love to see any pictures or any stories, um, any comments that you wanna share a story with me of an obstacle that you've overcome or something that maybe you don't necessarily love the best about yourself or people told you, but you still love it anyway, um, just write that down below. I would love to hear you know, any of your thoughts like that. So um, thank you so much for watching this and thank you for subscribing to me if you do or if you didn't. Um, just thanks to everybody out there who has been watching my videos and following me and people who aren't. Just, I'm in a really good place. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's get into the tutorial. Let's get into the tutorial. I just sounded Irish. Um, and yeah, thank you to everybody. Love you guys and goodbye.
I should say, and uh, without further ado, I smell like a poo poo. That's fine, I think that sounded good. But now we gotta talk about Frida. She's one of my favorite painters. Uh, I really look up to the everything about her. What am I talking about? That I don't know. I'm just stuttering. I don't know what I'm doing. She is one of my favorite painters from history. From history? That doesn't make any sense. She is one of my favorite painters. Um, what are you talking about? She's <clears throat> Salutations. Why am I talking so weird? Salutations. I need some water. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. <sighs> salutations, my friends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Salutations, salutations, salutations. Ooh, ah. Okay. Salutations! Hello, 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 hello. Salutations to you and you and you and you and you and you. Hello, guys. Hello, friends. Today we are going to be. What am I doing with my hands? Salutations, friends. Today we are going to be doing another painting from our fabulous females. What the hell is it? Iconic. And okay, sorry. We are doing a painting of a woman. She had a little, little walk. We and yeah, <laughs> Miss, just stop, just stop. It's really not that hard. 